Not one train turned a wheel in the entire New York transport system. The strike deadlock was complete and remained so when these pictures reached us. The Transit Workers Union had declared total war on America's biggest city. The buses were also idle. By massive mobilization of automobiles, New Yorkers staved off the threat of complete paralysis. TWU stands for Transit Workers Union. Ironically, at City Hall, took place the inauguration ceremony of John Lindsay, taking over as the first Republican mayor of New York for 20 years. Against all odds, he had won the election. But what a situation confronted him. Lindsay at once proclaimed that the transit union had to be fought. Eight million commuters could not be held up to ransom. Negotiations to end the strike got nowhere. The authorities and the TWU were not talking the same language. They were millions of dollars apart. And union president Mike Quill, in the chair here, was adamant. Dramatically, only a few hours later, he had a breakdown and was rushed to hospital, his life in danger. Evenings have seen record traffic jams with journeys of one hour taking six. A hundred million dollars a day is the strike bill for New York. <laughs> 